Thank you, gentlemen. Our final question will go to Aisi Tabi, Al Jazeera. Thank you, sir. Um, I just follow my question of my colleagues about Gaza. Over the past 24 hours, the uh, Israeli army has carried out a series of fire strikes in the city of Rafah, uh, leaving dozens dead and injured. As you know, Rafah hosts uh, one million and a half civilian. And we know that Mr. President Biden um, um, urged uh, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu not to launch an attack on Rafah. But the attack is going on. My question to you, sir, what your position now in this military Israeli operation on the ground right now? Thank you, sir. Well, thank you for the question. And, and you know, we've been clear about the need to prioritize the protection of civilians uh, and that a military operation should not uh, proceed without a clear and implementable plan uh, to evacuate those civilians out of the battle space and also care for them once you, once you evacuate them. Now, we've communicated this uh, a number of times from the president's level on down, and certainly, you know, I've uh, communicated with my, uh, my counterpart a number of times. So um, that, that should be a key part of uh, any military, any plan, any, any type of operational planning. Uh, to, to account for and protect those civilians that are in the battle space. Uh, and again, uh, we've yet to see uh, such a plan, but uh, we'll have an opportunity to engage uh, uh, the leadership here uh, on that soon. So. Secretary Austin, General Brown, thank you both very much, gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our press briefing. Thank